Hi friends, welcome back to the shop here at Mad Racing Parts. I wanted to go over uh, how to terminate your spark plug wires. You get one of these kits that's um, you know cut to length and you got to put the ends on it. A lot of guys are, are putting these ends on the wrong way. So I just wanted to clarify the correct way to do it. Um, they need a good tool. MSD makes it. Uh, these people make it. Several companies to get it from. But anyway, once you have a tool like this, um, you just need to strip a little bit of the wire off. We're looking at about three-eighths of an inch we want to get. We'll squeeze that tool, we'll give them a little twist, and then the insulation pops off. It's important that you don't uh, damage this wound core, <clears throat> that it stays intact, there's nothing frayed or messed up on it. And the other part that people miss is this takes two crimps. It gets a crimp here, which is on the core, and then the outer crimp. And uh, the right way to do it is just to lean that down into the lean the core down into it and then the end of this tool will grab it and that crimps the, the core and then you straighten the wire out it's pretty simple I mean <clears throat> but a lot of people do it wrong so I figured we'd make a little video then you get this in there let's see get them in nice and straight all right and just do a quick crimp on that and now you've got a properly secure wire. It's not going to fall off or give any trouble. Now, there's one more thing that people forget. And this is important even if you're not making your own wires. And that's to use silicone uh, dielectric grease. You can buy this at the auto parts or hardware store. This is really important. Um, it, it helps to seal the boot um, to your coil and on your plug wire end. Um, you don't have to get crazy with it. You just need like a little quarter inch dab of it. Lay that in there, and then take a pick or a screwdriver or something and just roll that around. All right. And you want to do that on both the plug side and the coil side. And a lot of guys, you know, don't believe in this, but I can tell you that if you don't use it, um, you're more likely to have arcing where it burns a little pinhole in the uh, boot, or especially on a plug near a header. And you'll have misfires. You'll see a lot of uh, noise, like in your EGT readings and such. Um, and simply a, a good wire and grease on both ends of the wire solves a lot of problems. You'd really be surprised at how many cars we fix just by putting uh, the proper grease on there. And the other thing it's good for is getting this assembled because it's not going to want to go in there. So again, we'll just put a little piece, a little turret of it in there. And just roll that around so that it lubricates the whole inside. And then you can push this wire right in, no problem. And there it is, it's all in. And that's ready to go on your coil. So that was today's tip. Uh, use this grease. I don't care whose wires you run. Uh, wire manufacturers will tell you the same thing if you call them up and talk to them. It's very important, especially on high energy ignition systems. And when you crimp the boots on, use the, uh, the extra crimp inside. That's, that's why it's on the tool. There's two crimps that need to take place. That's all for today. We'll see you next time.